I'm Howard Jackson and I'm with Graham Proud. Graham works for the Solway Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. I was here yesterday for the preparation and today it's the real thing. So how's it going, Graham? I think it's going very well at the moment. I think with the conditions this morning, with the rain and, and the bit of drizzle we've had, and a bit of sleep moving in kind of spoiled things. But now the sun's out, it seems yeah. to be going quite well. Yeah, so it's quite patchy, but you can see those showers coming. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Long that's distance good. forecasting. So what, what's the turnout been like today? The turnout's been excellent. We think, you know, there's been about six in the, in the open, six yeah. competitors in the open. We've got a junior, 11-year-old. And the, and the fact that we've got 11 people training today is, is well up on last year, so that's, that's good news for the future. That's excellent. Yeah. OK, well, we were just saying that the weather had been uh, improving a little bit and then rain stopped play temporarily, so <laughs> so we've now covered the camera up. So so a good turnout for new trainees? A fantastic turnout, turnout for new trainees, yeah, and we hope some of them come back next year. Yeah. You know, some uh, and, and from talking to them, some of the reports are good. You know, they're here to learn a bit, to do a bit at home, uh -huh. and then and then get involved perhaps next year. You know, yeah. so that is great news. Good news, yeah. Yeah. So, what about the the experts then? How's that going? <laughs> that says expected. It's going to be a tough decision for the judges. Uh, some wonderful, some wonderful work in the Keston taken on, and the building of the banks and the lane itself. You know, uh -huh. uh, absolutely wonderful quality work. Quality right. work. And a, a totally different sort of, if you like, experience to what I expected. The, the process is different. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people get that idea that, that things are different. Because it's North Cumberland style hedge lane, people think it's just hedge lane. Uh, but when you come on here, you've got to bear in mind that you need the banks for shelter. Yeah. Uh, the animals need the banks for shelter. And that's part of the lane of the hedge on here. An awful lot of spade work. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not for me. Yeah. No, a lot of work. Yeah. A lot okay. of hard work. So, all in all, a successful day? All in all, a successful day. Yeah. Fantastic. Couldn't ask for better. Brilliant. OK, thanks, Graham. Lovely. Thanks, Howard. Cheers. OK, this time it's Brian Irvin, who's the uh, the head of the Solway Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. Yeah, that's that right. right. Yeah. So, are you just along for a visit? We are, yeah. Um, I just thought I'd have a look down, see what's going on. Um, and I must say that it's probably the best turnout I've seen in the nine years that we've been running. Right the competition although the weather's bad um, but it's a typical February day on the Solway you that's know, right, so you yeah. can't expect much else yeah, so, well, we're, we're sitting in the yeah. trailer so we're keeping sort of semi dry uh, it's, anyway it's not bad in here yeah. Yeah, so it's good. what's the importance of this sort of uh, event well it's basically to keep the tradition going you know yeah. I mean um, these things are disappearing from the countryside and yeah. you know I mean one of my big bugbears in the 16 years I've been in the job is um, to do with the flail cut cutting of edges uh -huh. you know I mean that's all very well to give them a trim up at the end of the summer you know and and, uh, and early autumn um, but these things are not being um, bedded in the way they should be you know yeah. and these hedges are gapping up and all the rest of it but another another part of the thing is um, the standard trees in hedgerows are disappearing uh -huh. because the flails are taking them out before they can get through the hedge top yeah. Um, and what this type of thing does, you, you know, the the the, the Cumberland hedge lane style, it actually makes room for the standard trees within the hedgerow itself. Right. Yeah. Another part of the tra tradition, of course, is is the casting side of it as well, as as in all of our hedges are up on 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 large banks, you know. And further back in the past, if you were near the coast and all the rest of it, you would pick up cobble and actually metal. Right, yeah. the, the inside of the head casts as well, uh -huh. but here we just use turf, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, there's two ways of doing it, but um, and both of the, uh, and both ways is a traditional style. But I would love to see some sort of stone metalling to come back right. as well, right. probably in the southern end of the AOMB between Silith and Maryport. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. it just seems a bit more appropriate down there. Right. And what about funding for this sort of event? Well, it comes and goes. Um, what what we try to do is is put some money aside each year. Uh -huh. um, I mean, there's no straightforward funding streams to actually do this work, and yes. we've also had this help from the Cumberland News on on, on the, this one. But uh, recently, um, friends of the Lake Dis District um, put a bid in. Um, to various organisations yep. um, and we do now have a three year programme right. um, and that's throughout the Cum Cum Cumbria and uh, a little way into Lancashire as well right. uh, which takes in Westmoreland style, Lancashire style, South Cumberland style, North Cumberland style right. and so on so I mean there are a range of different styles right. 
and you know I mean as you can imagine the prevailing winds on the Solway um, mean that you know the, 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 the trees within the hedgerows as well are of a certain type and a certain breed because you know they've got to be hardy soils mm -hmm. uh, and they're normally wrecked and bent and all the rest of it by 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 the breeze yeah. I, I mean i'm sure that if the that if the designers from say mclaren f1 came came up on the solway they'd be able to see some good air aerodynamic right. designs yeah. you know because yeah. when i got uh, asked to do this film in it uh, literally three days after that Country file were doing hedge laying. Yeah. So I did my research and I thought I knew exactly what was gonna I was gonna be coming to and of course yeah. it's totally different. Completely different, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean you've probably seen what, what, what was it the Y Valley or the Black Down Hills? I'm not or? sure, but there were sort of twenty foot sort of uh, yeah. bushes that they were dropping down and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was completely different. So I was misled by John Craven. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, well, great talking to you and uh, yeah. loved the, loved the day. It's been a great event and okay. uh, yeah. good luck with it for the future. Unless you stop the sun keeps shining. Then. Well, it's touch and go, but we'll uh, see yeah. how we do. Yeah. So yeah. thanks very much. Cheers, Eric. Cheers. Okay, this time I'm talking to Rose Wolf from the uh, Solway Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. Have I said that right? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> okay. So what's your role in today's event? Today's event, I'm the sort of the coordinator of it all, organiser and uh -huh. get everything together and bring everybody together and this is everything really. Right. And what's the hardest part of it? It's getting people to come um, right. and to compete. Uh -huh. uh, you've really got to sort of um, get the information far and wide, out far and wide. So we try to sort of... Um, contact as many people as we can yep. and then just wait for people to get back to us right. and it always happens last minute right it's, uh, <laughs> so is that, that's the nervous bit you know is that the same for most events it, well just for this one in particular right, I so. think it's because the farmers are, bu are busy and yeah, you know yeah. they'll get back to you when they've got time yeah. and what's the benefit of the, the project the benefit is it's uh, keeping up the traditional kested hedges in the Solway yeah for which it's renowned uh, quite unique and uh -huh. you know as every part of Britain England in particular has a different style so yeah. ours here is the North Cumberland style and uh -huh. that's where you see the big kest, earth kest here being made and then the laying the ligas as they're called uh -huh. on it and it looks quite brutal but out of that all the new growth comes yeah. upright and uh, within a couple of two or three years you've got a really good thick right. bushy hedge again right. and how far away do you need to move from this area before the the style of hedge lane changes uh, as you go from West Cumbria into the Eden Valley and then towards the Lake District it starts to change yeah. noticeably right. into the Lancashire and Westmoreland style uh -huh. yeah. where it's not laid flat it's laid sort of at an angle right and then put stakes through it right it's very confusing oh it's very confusing right. okay. <laughs> but then the people here today particularly Jasper who's training he goes to the national um, hedge lane competitions and there you'll, you'll get people far and wide doing yep. all the different styles. I'm with Jasper Pratchek. We're at the end of the day. It's been a brilliant day. So what about the level of the standard of Well, uh, I think the work? standard uh, is really good. And uh, it's the enthusiasm that brings, that, that makes them do the job well. Yeah. They started off not quite sure and what have you. And then they suddenly click and they're off. And uh, oh yeah 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 we, we could do that and, and, and the, the enthusiasm pulls them through and they suddenly the standard improves yeah. and it shows in the work yeah. and uh, I'm quite pleased well I'm very pleased really that uh, the standard has improved so quickly uh -huh. yeah. and um, that's down to their like I was saying earlier the enthusiasm and some nice tools to use we got some nice tools uh, lent to us and that really really helped everybody. Um, and it wasn't a big mad rush at the end, which uh -huh. makes a big difference for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So what's your involvement in the whole sort of process? Sort of well, nationally? originally what happened was um, they set the competition up and I was asked to uh, help organise it vis-a-vis -vis judging and what have yeah. you. So the first competition I had to go at and the second competition I had to go at, and I won that one. The next one, I won that one. Right, so a natural. Yeah, well, I do this as a job, anyhow. Ah, so, yeah. um, and then I was asked to judge the next year. And then um, after that, uh, the present judge started judging, and he makes a right good job of that. Um, and then I got involved with training because I do a lot of hedge laying training uh -huh. where I live in South Yorkshire. And um, 
I've been doing the training here on these competitions for four years now, three years, four years, I've yeah. forgotten now, quite yeah. a while now. Uh -huh. So that's my involvement. But the smaller competitions like this need support. Yeah. And if there's nobody to show people what to do, there's sort of various people saying, oh, do this, do that, to the volunteers, or people who want the trainees, and they get the, the mixed me mixed messages. Yeah. So if there's one yeah. person showing them what to do, they can make a much better job. Right. And they get the clarity in the work, which you can see. Yeah, lovely job. So do you train right across the country? Uh, not really, more Northern England, really. We might go up to North England if we asked to, or to Durham. Right. But I tend to just do around where I am at the moment. Right. So I'm sort of busy. I've got another four courses to do before the end of the season so but presumably the, the training you deliver is specific to that area well the training I deliver is first of all we make sure they can cut and lay the stems yeah and then we alter that to well we don't alter it we make sure they can do that and then they can start doing the style of hedge in that particular area or a style of hedge in which they like to be yeah like to uh, see cut this all is balanced up by the fact that as people get quite good at it their personality starts to show in the work a little right. bit and yeah. they like things a bit lower a bit higher but they're focused they know what they want and that's our, our bit you know yeah so the so that'll start showing but it's practice a job like this right so the best thing for them to do is do a bit tomorrow yeah so when you move around, can you tell who's done a particular hedge? Uh, sort of where I am, because there's yeah. only three of us in South Yorkshire. Well, there's, there's more than three, but three registered yeah. in South Yorkshire. So I sort of know who's done what. Right. And we all talk to each other anyhow, sort yeah. of. Right. And as a lifestyle for you, what, what does it involve? Well, I start in September and I finish in April. Right. And then in the summer, I'll make uh, craft baskets. OK, well, be brilliant talking to you. And... Uh, Nice meeting you. Good old. And uh, certainly the results today have been yeah, very impressive. Yeah, everybody's happy, yeah. I'll right. need to go because I need to see uh, a lad that's running the competition in Ashington okay, in well. a couple of weeks' right. time. Okay. Thanks.